And we have track mod Q3. This is a second group. Uh, who do we have out there who's, who's one to watch? Great looking cars, regardless. So right now, we've got Jeremy Swenson out there, um, Michael Puglisi, Jason Harding, Luke McGrew, and Ken Smith. So actually leading the field off, though, is um, I believe that's Luke McGrew out there in that uh, black Viper ACR uh, following him in that, uh, oh, sorry, right there on the screen, that's Mike Puglisi uh, out there in the DMN Racing, uh, sorry, the DMN Racing uh, Mitsubishi Evo. Yeah, that Evo, yeah, Puglisi is definitely fast. That's a very quick car. What kind of times have we seen from Puglisi so far? Let's see, Puglisi so far, 111-11. So, pretty quick there. Luke McGrew, though, fastest so far in track modified, 110-1 earlier today. Oh, and look at that. He just ran a 108.9. 108.9 for Luke McGrew this session. Jeremy Swinson in that Corvette, 110.1. So, pretty decent gap there between Luke McGrew and Jeremy Swinson. There we go. Oh, a little bit of rear rear lockup there from Jeremy Swinson in that inside rear. Yeah, that's that's that, that car number 30. Uh, that's that turn five and six, as you said. You've really yeah, got a real tight corner there. on a longer wheelbase car like that, too. It's... Uh, they turn, but a shorter wheelbase would be a little bit more beneficial down there. Whip it around. But really, that's the only section, but it leads right into the fastest straightaway of the whole track. So, and that car looks wicked, man. That car looks absolutely wicked. Look at that, tape, taping up all the gaps there, getting rid of the... Just going for every yeah, little bit for little, aerodynamics. Every little arrow counts. So, but still, story right now, Luke McGrew, 108. Wow, that car sounds amazing as he comes behind us. Jeremy Swinson on it. Let's see what he's got. This session looks like we're gonna see some really fast lap times. Jeremy Swinson, 109.5. So six tenths of a second slower than Luke McGrew. What's going on? Jason Harding running a 110.5 and Mike Puglisi, 110.9. So all of these guys within about two seconds of each other. Ken Smith just crossed the line, though, 111-1. And Chris Borsma out there in his Civic. Uh, so pretty much you have a bunch of rear-wheel drive cars uh, and then an all-wheel drive car, but then just a single front-wheel drive car out there, Chris Borsma. And yeah. really, overall in the event, you don't see that many front-wheel drive cars. It seems to be kind of dominated, as far as entries go, by yeah. all-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive cars. But from what we've seen, uh, one of the competitors here do... Uh, and other, other competitions, Will Ah Young, who we'll see in just a little bit in the same class. Um, you know, front wheel drive cars can be pretty dang quick. Yep. And they're tidy, as you said, uh, just keep keeping it clean. And uh, Will Ah Young, one of, the, one of the tidiest drivers out here, keeps it really clean in between the lines. You can see there at the top of the track there, that's car number 22, that red Corvette. There's actually two red Corvettes out there right now, but that one is Jason Harding. 110.5 so far for Jason Harding. Let's see what he gets uh, as he comes through here. Tripping timing, 111. So a little bit slower than he was just a lap ago. Yeah, and you can see just a little bit of elevation there. Not much, just a yeah. little jump. There's a jump? Sick. If you're going fast enough, but it's right. like right into a braking zone. <laughs> Don't really recommend it. No. Not a good scenario. There we go. Look at that. Great Spearing Skycam yeah. 1. Yeah. So Jason Harding there looking real good as he comes through here. There's this little short straight and another turn, and then he'll pop over the crest right into our view here. There we go. So he cones to the left right there. That's where her braking zone starts, too. So right when you're on the power, you go up and hit the brakes as the car settles. So yeah. makes uh, makes things kind of interesting there. So Jason, Jason Harding's Har best yeah, so Harding, far, 110.5. Oh, sorry, Chris Borsma, 110 110.4 now. He, uh, on his outlap, he was doing like a 123, but now we're looking at uh, car number 487. That's Ken Smith. So Ken Smith, 111.1. There's three seconds between all six of these cars. That's it. Yeah, and like, and like you said, a, a testimonial to that front-wheel drive, Borsma, and that 110.4, even faster than the, uh, the car number 22 of Jason Harding. So just goes to show you. Every, every little bit counts. Ken Smith there using every bit of track up here at M1 Concourse. Looking real good. I think this lap might be pretty quick. Seems like he's kind of fallen into a groove. Ken Smith right now 
111 1, looking to best that. Here we'll comes know in Ken just Smith a second. into that turn 9 and 10. He's moving. So Smith as you can see, there's a, there's a fair amount of Corvettes in this yeah. group. There's three Corvettes out there at the moment. Here comes Borsma throwing some sparks. He's approaching that finish line there. What, what kind of times are we seeing there from... Uh, Ken Smith, 111-202. He ran a 111-122 earlier, yeah. so pretty consistent there. Desmond Tutu? Desmond Tutu? Desmond Tutu. Who's Desmond Tutu? Is there okay. a Desmond Tutu here? No. All right, Borsma. What Borsma? It's like Chris Borsma's fastest, 110-411 now. So your fastest of that group, though, Luke McGrew, 108-939. Jeremy Swinson, 109.5 so far. Chris Borsma, 110.4. Jason Harding, 110.5. Mike Puglisi, 110.9. And Ken Smith, 111.1. This is the closest group in time that we've seen so far. Now this is so far for the day. This is the pointy end of the group for the track modified class. But we might see some, uh, some fast times from some people that uh, may have only showed up earlier and been able to run a couple laps. So uh, after street mod, we're going to be seeing uh, we're going to be seeing that of uh, unlimited. Unlimited will be next. Hey Matt, there's a typo on the screen. Yeah. Unlimited should be. You limited. All right, looks like Borsma and that K2 and Honda Civic pulls in. It's going to rest on that uh, on that 111. Yeah, that's a uh, pretty 110. 110.4. He ran a 111 and then went back out and went even bit. faster, 110. So there you go. You got Ken Smith as he heads towards either the apartments or the hospital <laughs> and the church steeple. Yep. Turn six in that straightaway back there. I was talking to uh, Aaron Kaufman uh, last week. Aaron Kaufman stars in his own show, Shifting Gears. Formerly of, uh, of Gas Monkey Garage yep. and Fast and Loud, but uh, Kaufman, he, did, he shot a commercial out here. Really? Yeah, I, shot, I was like, yeah, I'm going out to uh, M1 for something called Speed Ring. He's like, oh, man, it's a heck of a track. He had, he had a good time out here. So, yeah, uh, he's, to... uh, he started doing a lot of motorsport stuff recently. Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, they're in Colorado, actually, right now. They're at uh, Pikes Peak uh, International Raceway. Oh, nice. Yeah, there's nice. a Rock and Rumble. It's just a truck show. But anyways, I was talking to him about it, and he got to drive uh, Jack Roush Jr.'s uh, GT4 out here. So it's pretty. That's uh, that would not suck. No. That's for sure. Yeah, not at all. All right, so uh, that Kotec Corvette still out there trying to throw down some fast times. Yeah, that's uh, Jason Harding with a 110.4 so far. Your leader currently in track mod for the number one seed spot into the bracket battles tomorrow. Looks like it uh, might be Luke McGrew and his Viper ACR with a 108.939, but. Jason Harding looking like he's uh, using every single bit of the track here at M1 Concourse. You're going to see him cut right in front of us right here. Checkered and flag is out for Harding. This is going to be his last lap here for this session. One more corner for him. Let's see. Can he do it? What do we got, bud? Jason Harding. He had a 110.486. Uh, 110.777. Yeah. So just a little bit slower. So 1104 stands to be the fastest for Jason Harding. That's a wrap for this session. Up next, Unlimited. Unlimited. Uh, uh, no, we've got one more group oh, of track modified group. cars. One more Apologize. group of track modified cars. All right, so track mod, one more group of track mod. And uh, then we move on to Unlimited. Kind of kind of counting. Looks like we'll see uh, Scott Shadbolt. That was that, uh, that really clean E46 M3, the white one with the blue wow. wheels. Yep, great. So he'll be out there. Um, Joe Melky out there, that car number 555, he'll be out here on track soon. Um, that is a Subaru WRX STI, sounds really awesome. Matt Jensen out in yet another Corvette. <laughs> uh, we've got Grant Walker in that uh, Mechanical Advantage Racing uh, Miata. Okay. So that kind of flat black one that we saw earlier. Uh, Chad Slag out Slag. in that red Civic that was blowing some smoke. Yeah. Uh, it looks like he's lined up though, so hopefully he's fixed that issue. And uh, Steve Sullivan out in car 669, Honda uh, another SI. Honda Civic Si. So we got uh, a couple Civics uh, up against a Corvette. Uh, it's, uh, it really shows you in this class, there's 
potential for a lot of cars to go really fast. The rules are kind of balanced that way. Yeah. Right? So the front wheel drive and rear wheel drive cars can run a little bit bigger tire than the all wheel drive cars and similar things to that. So it, uh, it should be interesting to see how things shake out. Nice, beautiful, casual day here at M1 Concourse. We are in